Well, I haven't posted a video in about a week. I've gotten a couple phone calls. Bob, are you okay? <laughs> well, of course I am. Thank you <laughs> for inquiring. I didn't know that I'd need to check in with my community. But I guess I need to. <laughs> All is good. All is fine. I took a couple of days off on Monday because I uh, closed the deal on the last of the land of my farm. So I now just got this place. <laughs> and you know, I am 70 years old, or pretty close to it. <clears throat> and I've seen good times, I've seen bad times. I've seen real estate sell really high, I've seen real estate sell really low. This one, although it took me like 20 years to study it. <laughs> but I think everybody came out okay on it. The broker did. The agent did. The person that bought it from me did. And the per uh, person who's buying it can't buy anything any cheaper. Yeah, I'm taking a deep breath because I'm getting ready to say something. Real estate is in a bubble. And I don't know if it's a little bubble because if it's a little bubble, you have to poke it more times or use it sharper on a needle. If it's in a big bubble, you can almost hold it in front of the sun and... <clears throat> And for those of you who are listening, most of the people that call me are not from the church. They don't want to hear a prophetic word. They want to know what I know about real estate and um, stuff going on all over the world. I know... I have some dogs that follow me, and that's fine. I talk about my college years, and I was there, and <laughs> December 15th, they've just uh, picked that date to vote on extending the debt ceiling. You know, these politicians in Congress and Senate don't work like I did. You get up at six, you shave, put on some clean clothes, <laughs> or at least they're cleaner than the ones you wore the day before. Because <laughs> I learned a long time ago. Just hang them up, they'll air out. <laughs> if a bird don't poop on them. And um, who's going to pay for all this? There's two ways of doing this. Reduce the population or seize your bank accounts according to your credit history and you're given an annual monthly amount. I think it's called an annuity, isn't it? Or is it a Ponzi scheme? I don't know. I kind of been studying all this stuff for a while. Probably started with that uh, little muddy farm thing I wanted to do down at uh, Southwest Missouri State University. You know, I didn't want much. I'll probably seat in the front row. 
maybe every once in a while getting up and talking about my past experiences and my belief in the future of, uh, <laughs> you know what I almost said, agriculture, because I would have been in the wine industry. And um, then this whole uh, Corona beer virus came out. <laughs> you know Corona beer? Remember that you used to say about that? It was recycled. <laughs> mm, wow. I almost had a thought. <laughs> so, this is my one question to you. By December 15th, you send me the best stock tip of the year, and I'll invest in it for six months. And I will share with winners.